You're watching KPBI News at 5. News that works for you. The primary election day is just one day away, and for one candidate, it'll be the culmination of a long and arduous campaign. Joining us now is gubernatorial candidate Tommy Alquist. Thank you so much for joining us now. You have been on the campaign trail for, what, 15 months Yeah, it's plus? been about 16 months, hitting it really hard. Right? And, and you've been from one side of the state to the other, north to south. Tell me a little bit about this last-minute push through Idaho. So we... We, we've kind of never stopped touring and I've been back to most cities many, many times. Pocatello has been one of those stops we've made, I don't know, dozens of times. But to end the campaign, we wanted to end it the way we started it. And so we did a 133 town tour in 11 days and had an amazing experience again. Uh, so many people that have become like family for us around this state, uh, little towns, people that have been forgotten. Uh, felt like they've been left behind. It was really good to go back again and talk about what it's going to be like. This, this election's about our future, and I can't wait to represent all of Idaho. Now, in your campaign, you have contributed a lot to your campaign as far as your own money yeah. and, and, and family's money. How do you compare that to some candidates who maybe take a lot of from individuals? Well, I don't. We've, we've taken more from individuals than the other campaigns. We've raised more monies from individuals and small businesses than any of the other competitors. I think the difference is they've had special interest groups pour money into their campaign and I've had to had to put in my own money uh, they've also been running for you know combined it's 29 years combined right so the power of incumbencies there uh, a lot of establishment we're taking on the status quo so of course we're gonna have to put in some funds to even the playing field and was happy to do that because I believe this race is important enough to invest in to make a difference for Idaho now one issue that has come up as of late is the use of CBD oil and uh, should that be something that if elected governor should the governor step in create an executive order or should the legislature hash that out well I, I think there's not an issue that I that's there right away that, that that shows how our current politicians put politics over people I mean this is just lack of leadership we absolutely will work with the legislature to get a solution where CBD oil is legal for the families in Idaho. I mean, there are families all over the state where it's the only thing that works, but politics, big business, pharmaceuticals get in the way of this. Um, it is not the Trojan horse to, to legalize marijuana. You can have, we're going to keep legalized marijuana out of Idaho, but we must have CBD oil for patients that need it in Idaho. And that's just leadership. I can't wait to do that. Okay. And finally, since you spent a year and a half on the campaign trail, is there something that's stuck out as your travels around Idaho that really, um, really resonates with you? It's, it's the people. I mean, uh, there are people around this state that, that are built on the heritage and values of Idaho, what Idaho is and, and the heritage. They love this state. I love this state. And they want what's best for their families. You look at health care premiums, you look at education, and you look at small businesses. Those are the things that I'm passionate about. That's what resonates with the people of Idaho. And that's why we're asking for their vote. Tomorrow's the day mm -hmm. that they get out and, and, and a vote for our campaign is a vote for, for health care, for small business, and for education in Idaho. Okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and taking time because you have a very busy schedule today. You still have many more places <laughs> to uh, campaign at, so we appreciate you spending time thank with us. Thank you so much afternoon. for having me on. Really and appreciate good luck tomorrow. Thank you very, very thank much. You. Appreciate right. it. We'll be right back with a look at our brainstormers question and answer next.